So what really happened to actor Jesse Smollett? He claims these two men attacked him in a racist and homophobic hate crime. Now the Chicago brothers are telling quite a different story. They're saying Smollett orchestrated the attack and paid them to take part. And tonight he is still sticking to his story. Kicking on Sermela Aragawi is live in Palms right now with the latest twist. Sermela. This is huge. If what these brothers are saying is proven to be true, this doesn't just make the alleged victim now the culprit. It makes him someone who planned out and orchestrated a hate crime. And local street artists like this one are calling him out. For days, they were just shadowy figures in an alleged hate crime, but now Ola and Abel Osundairo are breaking their silence, telling CBS Chicago affiliate WBBM exclusively, we are not racist, we are not homophobic, and we are not anti-Trump. We were born and raised in Chicago. We are American citizens. The two were extras on the show Empire and are friends with actor Jesse Smollett. According to sources, the brothers say Smollett hired them to orchestrate the attack. On January 29th, Smollett reported that two men yelled racial and homophobic slurs at him before attacking him in downtown Chicago. The Osundairos had left for Nigeria hours later and were arrested at Chicago O'Hare last week on their return. He said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. I noticed the rope around my neck and I started screaming. Sources tell WBBM the rope was purchased at this hardware store at the direction of Smollett and paid for by the actor. Days before, Smollett received this threatening letter with racial and homophobic slurs containing a white substance later determined to be aspirin. It has words pieced together with magazine clippings, hand-drawn stick figures, and MAGA as a return address. When police raided the Osundairo's home last week, they found some items that seemed to have some overlaps to the letter. The story has garnered a lot of attention, including a local artist who goes by Sabo, who has created mock movie posters in reaction to Smollett's story, like this one that says Black Prankster rather than Black Panther. These days, the tension is so high in, in the, in the um, minority, or just in these communities. He could have sparked a race war, you know? It's like, how, how thoughtless of him. Sources also tell WBBN that Smollett was upset at the lack of reaction to that threatening letter, and that is why he orchestrated this attack. Reporting live from the Palms, Hermela Aragawi, KCAL 9 News. Certainly much more to come on mm -hmm. that story, Hermela. Thank you so much. Yeah.